Crawford. Well, I say 50-50. I say 50-50. You don't think it's 50-50? 60-40, what are you going to tell him which one? You think Crawford can stop him? Crawford can stop anybody. He will make Canelo look like a child. Can he beat Canelo? Terrence Crawford will beat Canelo anytime. Just with the skill set alone, Terrence Crawford is a master. He will make him look like a child. And that's just my boxing experience. Do I want Canelo to win? Yes. You know, I promoted Canelo and I, I want the best for him. And then I want the best for any fighter. But from a promoter's view, from an expert view, from a fighter's view, and don't forget it, it's 10 world titles in six divisions. From that perspective, Crawford will beat him in a master performance, master class, any given day. Why, why can he overcome the three weight divisions? Talent. Talent alone. Look at Canelo's footwork. It's, it, he's, he's walking on cement. Look at Crawford's footwork. He, he coordinates it with his upper body. His footwork is just incredible. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So I told you guys a long time ago on this channel, when Oscar De La Hoya is no longer promoting Canelo Alvarez, he is going to be telling the whole truth unapologetically how he really feels about Canelo Alvarez. I told you guys this because he used to drop little hints of how he felt about Canelo Alvarez even when he was promoting him. When he was saying things like, you know, if Canelo wants to be great, he's going to have to fight the likes of a, a Charlo, uh, an Andre, and a Danny Jacobs. When he said that, that was a hint that he was telling the world that Canelo Alvarez is fighting weak opposition when he really should be fighting these guys. Well, about five or six years later, Canelo Alvarez is now fighting Jamel Charlo. So let's go ahead and talk about what Oscar De La Hoya said in that clip. This is what he said to Fight Hub. And what you guys have to understand is Oscar, he's making a lot of sense. This is coming from the perspective of a very successful boxer. See, Oscar De La Hoya is not saying things just based on his Mexican pride, saying what Mexican fans want to hear. He's once again saying this from the perspective of an experienced boxer who has been in the ring all his life. He said Terrence Crawford will make Canelo Alvarez look like a child. And if you guys are watching this clip I'm playing for you right now, this is Canelo sparring with his longtime sparring partner, Ronald Ellis, who coincidentally he's actually sparring with to prepare for the Jamel Charlo fight. And even in this sparring session, Ronald Ellis is the one that's pretty much playing with Canelo in the sparring. Now we heard fans try to defend Canelo and say, oh, Canelo was just playing with him. But when you're playing with someone in sparring, you do not get hit. When you're playing with someone in sparring, you could put your hands down, you could stand right in front of them and you won't get hit because you're just that good. The whole point of playing around with somebody in sparring is to make it look extremely easy. Well, Ronald Ellis is a journeyman in the sport of boxing now. He's known for being a good sparring partner, but he just didn't make it that far as a pro. And you have a lot of fighters like that in the sport of boxing. Fighters that are really good when they spar, but when they fight in a pro fight, they look like a complete different fighter. Everything that Oscar De La Hoya has said about Terrence Crawford was spot on just like everything Oscar De La Hoya had said about Floyd Mayweather for years was spot on when he was praising Floyd Mayweather. Terrence Crawford is such a special talent. It doesn't matter if he moves up three weight classes because his skill definitely trumps his size disadvantage. Crawford, he showed a complete different side of him when he fought against Errol Spence because usually when Crawford is in a fight, he allows his opponents to touch him every once in a while and catch him with good shots. So you would have thought just looking at those fights, Crawford doesn't have the best defense, but he clearly showed if he's in there with an opponent where he knows he can't be getting hit with anything, then he shows that he has the best defense. That's what he displayed in the Errol Spence fight, and he'll do the same thing against Canelo, but it would be easier because Canelo is not as intelligent as Errol Spence. Canelo, like Oscar De La Hoya just said, he doesn't have the foot movement, he doesn't have the speed, the reflexes, the defense that he would need to match wits with Terrence Crawford. Now in the Canelo-Charlo fight, uh, Canelo Alvarez's size advantage and his power is far more dangerous in that fight because Jamel, he does not have the type of intelligence that a Crawford has. 
he doesn't have the defense that a Jamel Charlo has. I'm not saying Jamel, he's not going to win this fight because he probably will win the fight. But I think the fight would be harder for him to win than it would be for a smaller Terrence Crawford. You guys seen that clip I played for you at the beginning where Mike Tyson was talking about the Crawford versus Errol Spence fight. He always thought that Crawford would win that fight easy. And when he was asked, you know, does he think he's going to knock out Spence? Mike Tyson said that Crawford, he can knock out anybody. And I believe that includes a Canelo Alvarez. I believe if Crawford were to move up three weight classes, he would stop Canelo. Just like Manny Pacquiao stopped Oscar De La Hoya. It's just so crazy how now Canelo Alvarez, he has a couple of tough fights, possible tough fights lined up, and they're all against much smaller fighters. And realistically, if you listen to the boxers, a lot of the small fighters are the favorites to beat the much bigger Canelo, at least from the perspective of professional boxers. Because I can guarantee you, if you guys ask the majority of professional boxers who's going to win a fight between Terrence Crawford and Canelo Alvarez, the majority of them will pick the much smaller guy to win the fight because he's so much more talented and more skilled than a Canelo Alvarez. With that being said, I'm still looking forward to what happens in September with Canelo and Charlo. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. All right, now check this out, guys. If you're looking to repair eczema scars, burns and bruises, dark spots and blemishes, fever blisters, diabetic ulcers, this right here is the perfect product for you guys. It's called Elo De Key Face and Body Oil. Athletes and top-ranking boxers, they're also using it after training to reduce swelling, inflammation, and to ease the pain. So get yours today. Go to elodekey.com. Like them on Facebook and follow them on Instagram. Let me tell you guys about Issa Israel Law Firm. It is a full-service legal practice based in Denver, Colorado, an emerging hub for combat sports and high-altitude training. If you're a fighter inside or outside of the ring and you need a law firm you can trust to fight for you, visit thefighterfirm.com or email help at iilawfirm.com. Legal representation is usually limited to plaintiffs and defendants in Colorado, but iFirm can help anyone in the world with trademarking their business name, logos, and U.S. immigration issues. This brother has been my attorney for a while and helped guide me through all kinds of business and civil issues, so make sure you guys go to thefighterfirm.com. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. So to get this hookup, make sure you follow and contact my man Scalp Carolinas on Instagram.